The Humboldt Environmental Impact Reduction Program is an effort to efficiently identify illegal cannabis cultivation sites using satellite imagery. We can identify them, notice them about the violation that exists on the property so that they can remove it and restore the property to its intended or permitted use. Most of the sites could never be seen from a road, could never be seen from a public viewpoint. The ones that are often are behind three to four or more locked gates. So there's no way to get there. If cannabis is going to be a legal and regulated product, the illegal portion of it needed to be addressed and it needed to be addressed in a proactive way. To do it from space is just almost a no-brainer. From desktop computers, we can monitor the entire expanse of the county. We can assess whether the structures are permitted, if there's tree removal and grading, whether that's been permitted, and very efficiently assess whether there's violations on that particular property or whether it's permitted activity. When we had identified an appropriate cluster, we would write up what we call a notice to abate, which is a notice to tell the property owner they need to stop what they're doing, and then a notice of violation, which informs them that if they don't stop, they're gonna be subject to fines and penalties. And the fines and penalties for a cannabis violation is $10,000 a day per violation. The unregulated production is outside of land use ordinances, so there's increased environmental impacts. Those places, they aren't caring about the land because if you have a levy on your land, I mean, if there's something you want to pass on for generations to come, you would care about those levies. Bad road construction, poor stream crossings, failed culverts, poor impoundments, badly engineered ponds, all those kind of things tend to contribute to an already very high level of sediment in our watershed. We offer them a compliance agreement and give them a certain amount of time to complete that. Finding them, notice them, and fixing them can be done in a very condensed amount of time. The Humboldt Environmental Impact Reduction Program pays for itself. The ability to pay for it comes through charging people who are in violation the cost of administering the program. And that really is what it has to come down to. To notice the big environmental damages, I think satellite imagery is a good thing to use. It's closed down a lot of the legal cultivation facilities. To be able to collect the evidence we need to collect and tell the story over periods of time, satellite imagery allows us to be able to document that evidence. Thank you.